I founded my company in 1990. That was first of all ADA, acoustic design on it. And then uh, we did add some other smaller companies. We'd make software, software design on it. And then we have a distribution company on a Faisal Media Group. We are selling software. But in 2010, I did expand and um, we have now an acoustic design and uh, um, now more consultant office um, with a larger extent. And then because of the projects, uh, we have still a company dealing with uh, Mecca and other large projects in the Arabic world. That stands for Acomedia International. And everywhere I am somehow responsible. Altogether, we have still a small company in Qatar. Now we have seven companies. I'm a mainly a consultant. I, am, I did study electrical engineering and then uh, I'm working with architects and with designers and I'm mainly a consultant. And we did develop the software because of the needs and praxis. It was already in the 80s I was starting. I did say, okay, we need this and that, and the computers are more and more available. Let's simulate this. And um, therefore, we all our projects we make with simulation. Uh, we look to this and check, and we are working worldwide. This is not only in Germany. Majority projects we are right now I have two employees which are in Vietnam. We have in the near Middle East, we have in Africa, people, South Africa. So that's a lot of consultancy, mainly. Uh, in in electroacoustic, I believe we are the industrial standard. We are number one in electroacoustic. In room acoustics, the other um, academic programs, CAT and Odeon, still have a lot of uh, users. But we did add in 90, 2001 a module Aura stands for Analyze Utility for Room Acoustic, and we are now on a similar level, but in electroacoustic sound reinforcement, we are the strongest one. We always add some important thing. I'm visiting conferences. My colleague, Dr. Feistel, is visiting conferences, and we know what the people ask for. We have a collection of features you want to see, and we then think about, oh, maybe it's a good idea, is this to do or is that to do? We are working now on ES 5.0, and that will come out next year, I hope so. I'm one of the... Uh, in uh, standard committee of 401, I am the chairman of uh, also computer simulation standards for loudspeaker simulation, and um, I am a, a fellow of the Audio Engineering Society, but I am also a fellow of the Acoustic Society of America, of the British Society, and I'm a member of the Russian Society, and so I speak Russian. So, and uh, yeah, and so I'm quite good installed, let's say, <laughs> settled. I think the trend should be made clear. I wanted to give a presentation. What is the trend in software design, in software simulation, in which direction it goes? It's not anymore a topic of just um, simulate a room and to put a loudspeaker in it, but the interconnection later with the realization. That means you have not only to deal with the software domain, but you must know later on that must be installed and must work and maybe the installer can use elements from our software design and automatically that is given to him by DSP controlled and other tools. Integration of all components which can influence the quality of sound in spaces and in open air theaters. This is integration. You cannot make it any more similar and separate from a manufacturer. You must understand what a measure manufacturer can do for you and how you will support him to get better result. And this can be simulated in advance, but then there must be an export or any DSP features, parameters must be able to export that he can plug it in, in his device, and so that is a direct uh, interconnection. I would like to say that it's very important that you have started to educate people, to tell them what is new in the business, and I think that's a good path to continue.